guys, welcome to the vlog. It is Friday and uh, we're just getting our day started. Abby's got her morning routine every day. What you gonna get? No, we're not gonna do cereal and a bar. One or the other. Pick one. That one? Okay. Let's put these back. Good job. Okay, come on. Nice job. Hey, doing that open? Open. Okay. All right, let's go. Get in. Gotta go to school. We're late. We're always late. Come on, hurry. Seatbelt. Seatbelt. You can get your blanket later. Put your seatbelt on. Here you go. There's your blanket. Today is going to be interesting because uh, Abigail has a doctor's appointment uh, with her pediatrician. It's just a well checkup. But um, I'm going to go to it. I, I don't get to go to many of her doctor's appointments. Usually Priscilla takes her. That way we both get to experience those kinds of things. <laughs> you got all your blankets back there? <laughs> We also have to get a physician statement uh, from her doctor for camp. Abigail goes to Camp I Am Special. This will be her third year going, and it is a week-long camp. It's an overnight camp, so, she, so she's there the whole time. The first year was really tough. Um, I cried, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I cried dropping her off, you know, leaving her there. Um, Priscilla always cries when we arrive because they actually, they create this, this line of people as you're driving through and uh, they, they announce who's arriving and they all cheer. So they're all like, yay, Abigail, cheering and stuff like that. So it's it's pretty awesome. It's an amazing thing that they do. Uh, we're huge fans of Camp I Am Special. I'm headed to work. Priscilla's taking Abby to school and uh, the doctor's appointment is later this afternoon. So I'll be back to you guys in like six hours. Bye, girls. Bye. Love you. Bye, Ab. Bye. Love you. doctor's appointment today. This is pretty much my life every day. Abby's school is about 45 minutes away from our house. So it doesn't matter what time I leave, I always, always hit traffic. I'm doing the old switcheroo. Hi, Ab. Tag. Tag, you're it. <laughs> Ready for the doctor? Let's go. It's very convenient because Abigail's doctor's office is actually right down the street from our shop. the best doctor's office ever. They have ice cream. That was a really good doctor's visit. Um, Abigail has grown like nine inches and 28 pounds in the last year, which is just crazy to me. 
She's getting so big. What I love about our, our pediatrician is that she she truly gets autism. Like it's, I think that's a really hard thing to find. I don't know. It was hard for us to find in a pediatrician uh, for Abby. Her first pediatrician when we moved to Florida actually told us that um, that we were just paranoid, that there was nothing actually wrong with Abigail, uh, that we were just seeing it because Isaiah developed so quickly um, that we were just fabricating this. So I'd really like to go back to his office and be like, huh? But we found this doctor, Dr. Saban, and she's so good. She's so good with Abigail. She really just, some people, it's not doctors, I mean, some people just get it. You know, they just truly, they click. It's a great visit. We did get some shots. We got some immunizations. Uh, that's always a hard thing. You know, it's like we try to be picky with what what, what we get. Obviously, like, uh, you know, chicken pox, we get that because could you imagine Abigail with chicken pox? That, that, that would be terrible. Uh, she also got a tetanus shot. You know, th there are some things we do pick and choose. Uh, if she doesn't need it, she doesn't get it. And, and that's, that's pretty much how we go, go about that. Abigail was so cooperative. She did a really good job. And, and I got ice cream because I was a good boy. I'm joking. Here's your ice cream. We ended up with a little blood on our shirt and a lot of ice cream on our face. But <laughs> Is that funny? But I think the doctor's visit was a successful one, huh? So question of the day for you. How's your doctor? How's your pediatrician? Is it you guys have a good fit? Did you find somebody that uh, that works well with your kid? Do you have somebody that gets it? Or are they just clueless? I gotta go back to work. Bye. I'm gonna go switch off with mom again. I love you. Give me an ice cream kiss. Mwah. We're gonna close it out right here, guys. I'm gonna switch back off. I gotta go back to work. Bye. Love you. See you guys next time. Thanks for spending the day with us. Be like, huh? Be like, huh?